Pressure ulcer occur when a patient sits in one position for more than two hours or lay on the bed for more than two hours. Foot ulcers are caused by so many things. And the most common ones we see is neuropathy. And remember, neuropathy can be caused by accident. Neuropathy can be caused by medication. It can be caused by prior trauma. But the most common one we see here in our clinic is neuropathy caused by diabetes. Diabetic neuropathic ulcer is the number one cause of limb loss. So when we talk about foot ulcers, we have to find out what the underlying etiology is. What do I mean? Is that also caused by poor blood supply? Or is it caused by neuropathy secondary to diabetes? Or secondary to when immune system? Or secondary to trauma? So foot ulcers can be caused by a lot of things that we need to find out what exactly is the cost of it so we can tailor our treatment to treat that patient appropriately. For a patient who's disabled or sedentary, someone who can move, those patients will need help to prevent pressure ulcer from occurring. Um, nurses or somebody that is there at home can rotate the patient every three to four times within a two hour period. There are special type of mattresses that can be used to prevent it, i.e. there are A mattresses that we order for patients who are disabled to prevent pressure ulcers. Most especially on the heel, we use what we call prefo boots. Those are special kind of boots that take pressure off on bony prominence areas on the patient's extremities. On the skull as well as the elbows, there are special set of equipment that are ordered for patients to take pressure off from the bony prominent area. Just like the name implies, pressure ulcers. The way we treat pressure ulcers is by simply taking away the pressure by offloading the area. What do I mean by offloading? Offloading means we use special materials to take away pressure from the patient's bony prominence area. I.e., we can use a pad to pad where patients are having excessive amount of pressure. And surgically, we can remove bones that are causing pressure on the patient's extremity. So in order to prevent a pressure ulcer, we can sometimes use a jumbo dressing. A jumbo dressing is a specialized kind of dressing supplies that we use here at the Advanced Wound Care Center to take pressure from any part of the patient's body. On the foot, we can also use specialized shoes. We order for shoes by looking at the patient's foot, know where the pressures are, and decompresses, offload the area with special inserts on the patient's foot. Our main priority is to prevent ulcer. So what will a diabetic patient do? Check your foot every day. If there is bumps, redness, swelling, pain, crack on the skin, that's time for you to see your doctor immediately to prevent that from getting worse. A small crack on the skin on a diabetic patient can lead to limb loss because if that crack becomes infected due to poor immune system caused by diabetes, that infection can accelerate to your leg within a matter of eight hours. And by the time you get to the hospital, it may be too late to stop that infection from killing you. So please, that's the time for you to call a specialist or see your doctor or go to the nearest hospital to be checked out so that the right treatment can be instituted to prevent limb loss.